Thank you for choosing an Invingo Reader. Now that you have a reader, let's get connected. There are two options for connectivity. One is Ethernet. Each reader ships from the factory with a default IP address of 192.168.0.210. Or you can connect via RS-232. The default baud rate is 115.200. There's a couple of reasons why you may want to use RS-232. One is maybe you don't want to be on the Ethernet network. Another could be, if you don't know the IP address of the reader and you want to get into it to configure it, you can use RS-232 to get in and configure the IP address. All right, so let's find out what's in the box so we know what we're going to need. The XCRF850 comes with a pole mounting system, a COM cable with a barrel connector that plugs into the reader. The cable breaks out into three different cables. One for Ethernet, one for RS-232, and one for power. This is a 5-meter cable. It also comes with a GPIO cable or Wiegand cable, if that's the version that you ordered. It has some sealing tape for sealing antenna connections outdoors, a power supply and a power cord, an Ethernet cable, and some certificates. The 861 ships with a power supply and a power cord. Rails for mounting along with screws, a serial cable, a GPIO plug for GPIO connectivity, an Ethernet cable, some warranty cards, and a CD with reader information. So for Ethernet connectivity, I think we'll be fine. Computers today have Ethernet ports. But for RS-232 connectivity, it could be a challenge if you have a fairly new computer. If you have a 9-pin COM port on your PC, great, you can use that. If you don't, you're going to need to get a USB to serial adapter. The one that I use is a Keyspan from Triplight. I ordered mine from Walmart, 25 bucks plus shipping. It works great. I've used it for years. So the actual name is Keyspan High Speed USB to Serial Adapter, USA-19HS is the part number. It comes with a USB cable. You plug the USB cable into the Keyspan device and then plug the other end into your PC and it will load drivers and produce a COM port on your PC. If you want to know what that COM port is, you can go into Control Panel, System and Security, System, Device Manager, come down to Ports, COM, and LPT, and you'll see that the Keyspan USB serial port is COM3. If you're using Ethernet, we want to make sure that the subnet on our PC is set to match the subnet that ships from the factory, which is 192.168.0. So we can go to Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing, Change Adapter Settings, Open up the Local Area Connection, Choose Properties, Come down to the Internet Protocol version 4 and choose Properties, and here's where you would set your address. My PC is set to 192.168.0.10, and I'm connected directly to the reader with an Ethernet cable. So we're all set to go. Let's take a look at what these connections look like from the top. So a serial connection to an XCRF850 would look like this. You have the COM cable plugged into the reader. It breaks out into the Ethernet cable. You have the power connection, and you have the serial connection. In this case, the serial connection is plugged into the Keyspan device, which is plugged into the USB port on my PC. The serial connection with the XCRF861 looks very similar. We have the power supply here, the serial connector into the reader, and these two genders are different, so you can't get this wrong. The serial connection into the Keyspan device, and a USB cable into my PC. If we were connecting via Ethernet, similar connectivity. We have, for the 850, we have the COM cable, and in this case, we're connected into the Ethernet port instead of the serial port, with an Ethernet cable going directly into my PC, and the power cable. And then with the XC RF 861 
we have power coming in and an Ethernet connect connection connecting direct to my PC. So we're all set. The next thing we need to do is connect to the Invengo RFID demo software. But we need to get that. So the best place to go is to www.invengo.com. Go to support and open a case and you, you can request the software. The version that I'm using is version 1.31, which is the current released version. Hopefully in the future we'll have it posted out on the website so you can get to it that way. But for now you can open a case and you'll always be able to open a case and request it that way. So we open the software by double clicking on the RFID demo application. It comes up to a reader connection screen and we have the option of TCP, COM, and USB. TCP and COM work with the 850 and 861 readers. USB is for a legacy device that doesn't apply to this demo. So let's do a TCP connection. We know the reader's default IP address is 192.168.0.210, so let's connect. The application comes up and we're connected. You can see that I'm connected to an XCRF850. Here's the firmware information, and this is very important for future cases because engineering is always going to want to know the firmware that you're running. So we could read tags right now by just clicking the scan button. As you can see, we're working. So, now that we also have the COM port connected, we can disconnect here, go back to the connect button, choose COM, the Invengo program automatically goes out and looks and says, hey, there is a COM port open, it's COM3, I can hit connect, and we're connected, and hit the scan button, and it works exactly the same. Now that you're connected through the COM port, you can also configure an IP address. You just simply click on Config, come down here, change the IP address to whatever you want, and click on the Config button. It says it's not changed because I haven't changed anything, but if you change it, it'll change and the reader will beep. You can also set the power, set it between multi-tag and single tag here. Single tag only reads one tag at a time. Multi-tag is what you normally would want to use for multiple tags. Hit Config and the operation is done. So I hope this has been helpful, and always remember to go to invengo.com, support, and open a case if you need any help. Thank you.